think that's one thing that separates immigrant families from the regular Canadian families, you know? But no matter where your parents are from, they weren't born in this country, they will whoop your ass when you're growing up, won't they? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Where are your parents from? Ukraine. You know what I'm saying. They'll beat you with a cabbage roll. You know what I'm saying. They'll, they'll smack a pierogi upside your head if they have to. <laughs> they'll beat you, right? Immigrant parents will beat their kids. Canadian parents, they're a little too soft on their kids. And that's fine, you know, whatever makes you happy. But you need to start beating your kids. I'll tell you why. Because growing up, kids now are growing up in a multicultural society. You know, you're going to have white kids growing up with black kids and brown kids and Asian kids, and they're all going to be hanging out in the playground. You know what I mean? And they're going to be talking about the ass whooping they got last night. Do you want that little white kid to feel left out? Beat that child so he's not a social outcast. We'll be sitting around, man, my dad beat my ass. My dad beat my ass, too. The white kid will be like, I got sent to my room. We'll all be like, you've got a room? You need to beat the kids, man. Indian parents will beat their kids. Chinese parents, you, I would hate to get beat. My parents know kung fu and stuff, man. That's, I would hate to mess up with a Chinese house, man. Hey, cut this bong. Come here. It says you got the F in school. They wouldn't even need to beat you. They'd go, oh, no. <laughs> no, Sonny Terry. <laughs> Indian parents will beat their kids. Indian parents aren't afraid to kill their kids if they have to. <laughs> My dad's theory was, if I get rid of one, I'll just make another one. And I will tell the new one what an idiot the last one was. Jamaican parents will beat their kids for no reason sometimes, won't they? Hey, boy, come here. Yes, Daddy? What's that for? Just in case. White people, please beat your kids. I'll tell you why else, because when I was growing up, right, I grew up around a lot of black people, which was fine, because the black people never picked on me. White kids, not so friendly back then. But every now and then, a white kid would come and hang out with us, and we were like, wow, a white kid! I've heard so much about you! And here's where the problem is. When a white kid would hang out with us, we'd want to be like the white kid. We would want to start to do everything like the white kid. We wanted to copy that white kid so much. And the problem is, is when we would start taking that white kid's advice on how to deal with our parents. That'll get you friggin' murdered, man. I remember hanging around this one little white boy, Ryan, when I was 10 years old. I went to his house after school one day, right? His parents never beat him, and they never even yelled at him. He could do anything he wanted, and nothing was going to happen to him. But he was an angry kid. We walked into his house after school and his mom goes, Ryan, go clean your room. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> his mom goes, what am I going to do with him? <laughs> I go, Ryan, you can't talk to your mom like that. Yes, I can. She's a jackass. Don't say that, man. She'll hit you. No, she won't. She's not allowed to. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, man? My parents hit me. Yeah, well, next time they try it, you tell them to fuck off. <laughs> are you sure? Trust me, it works for me. So I went home for the last time. 
I walked in the house, my dad goes, Russell, come and do the dishes. <laughs> Fuck you, dad. What the hell did you say to me? Do I look like Ryan's mom? Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. That was my dad's threat. Right before he beat me. Every single time. Hey, Russell! Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. I hated that threat. You know why? Because he'd always say somebody. He'd never tell you it was you. I mean, you knew it was you. But he'd give you this hope. Hey, Russell, somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. Somebody. I'm not gonna say who. Oh, I think you might know him very well. I'm in the back praying, I hope it's my brother, man, please. <laughs> I saw that little brat Ryan at school a few days later, I was like, yo, your little plant almost got me killed. He goes, oh, sorry, dude, I forgot to tell you the other part. If he's still going to hit you, threaten to phone children's aid. <laughs> Why? Because if you phone children's aid, they'll come and take your dad away and he'll get in trouble. You won't even have to call. Just pretend it'll scare the crap out of him. <laughs> You're ten years old, you figure out how to scare the crap out of your dad? That's like finding kryptonite. I thought I'd try it. I was about to get my next beating, I stopped my dad. I go, don't do it. I'll phone children's aid. <laughs> you ever had your parents call your bluff? You will do what? <laughs> I'll phone children's aid. Is that right? <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, let me get you the phone, tough guy. <laughs> what are you doing? If I phone children's aid, you'll get in trouble. I might get into a little bit of trouble. But I know that it's going to take them 23 minutes to get here. In that time, somebody gonna get a hurt real bad.